Hi guys! I have been receiving questions on my Oddly Grown Garden videos about airplanes. I have been responding to them as soon as I got them, but then sometimes I figured it would be a lot better if I make videos to answer them. You know, visuals. For starters, I picked some comments from the most viewed videos I have in the Oddly Grown Garden series. And the first one I got is... Drum roll, please. The comment is from EDW Mirbik. I hope I pronounced that right. He asked, how is the plant doing? It's been several months. Anxious, anxious, anxious to see. I can't even read now. Thank you so much for the question. I got this from the video I tried to revive my air plant, which I posted July of last year. I included the link of the video in the descriptions if you haven't watched it yet. The plant that is actually being referred to is my Tilantia serographica. Well, I did kind of promise that I'll be posting some updates if the Tilantia serographica died or at least reached a milestone. I'm gonna make sure that I'll be posting an update about this plant. If it's gonna die, I'm gonna post it. I hope it's not gonna die. If it's gonna reach a certain milestone, I'm gonna include that as well in the video. The only reason why I have not put up any updates is because it has not reached a huge milestone yet and it is still, thank God, alive and silvery green. As promised, this video is here to answer this question. First of all, thank you so much guys for the continued support and I really appreciate your comments. I'm sorry if it took several months for me to do an update, but here it is. So here she is, as you can see, she's still alive. Wait, I'll turn off the green screen. Oh, here she is, look, see? We're gonna take a closer look at her later and put her on the table. Just a quick recap, I got her around first week of June last year in an unpleasant condition so to speak. Again, link of the video in the description. The video I did covered the six weeks of rehab that I did for her to revive and recover. Thank God it worked. Now um, let's have a closer look at her, shall we? So here she is in all her glory. So as you can see, her leaves are a bit longer than before. Actually, air plants are slow growers, so it takes them very long to grow. And as you can see, she's also got new leaves. This one here is the leaves that you can see in the previous video that was growing. And now as you can see in the middle at the center, there's a little leaf here that's starting to sprout as well. That's a new one. And yeah, so it's a sign that she is still thriving. So hopefully she'll live longer and eventually have flowers. So as you can see the edges are a bit dry. So these are the parts that I cut off because they're already um, dead tissue, so they're just draining the plant. So instead of the plant putting its energy to growing new leaves, she'll be trying to, you know, she'll try to recover the dead ones. So that's not a good thing. That's why I cut off the dead leaves. So the bottom part here, there were used to be dry leaves here at the bottom. I cut them off so that again she'll have more energy in producing new leaves instead of trying to revive the dead ones so it's normal for our plants like any ordinary plants to shed leaves so if you see that the bottom leaves of your air plants are starting to dry off and um you know starting to be crispy and dry you don't need to worry because that because that's totally normal so all you need to do is to remove them you don't need to force them if there's a need for you to force them when you try to remove it then don't remove it because that might hurt your plant so just let it stay but if it's easy for you to remove them then go ahead 
So since the rehab, she hasn't grown any roots, which is not bad because I placed her on, um, I placed her somewhere where she really doesn't need to grow any roots. So I think she realized that too. That's why she didn't grow any. I know that I mentioned in some videos that when your airplanes start to grow roots, it's also a good sign that they love the environment or the home that you put them in. But it's not, if they don't grow roots, that's not a bad indication that they're not healthy. I love how the center leaves show like a striped, striped pattern. It really looks cool. As you can see, she, like I said earlier, she's still silvery green. Let's go ahead and dip her in water for us to see which parts are um, dead. You know, for us to determine which parts are um, not healthy anymore, doesn't have healthy tissues. So this one is obviously already dead, this step right here. So I might need to cut it off later. You know, for aesthetics as well. But it's not that bad if, uh, if you let it, let it stay there, it's not such a big thing. So here at the bottom, as you can see, it's totally normal. If you can see some brown um, parts under the leaves, I mean at the base, it's totally normal. It's not that bad. It's only a bad thing if it's starting to get a bit moist and mushy. So to make sure you check the center of the plant, the very center, check if there's a discoloration, if it's black or dark, because that's, uh, that's an indication of rot. So that's what we're trying to avoid here. See here, she doesn't have any of those, any discoloration. So another sign, another way to check it is to try to wiggle the leaves at the center try to pull it a bit well not forcefully so if it's kind of loose that would already mean that it's um it's rot from the inside without any force it could easily fall off and you know it's going to be dark and mushy inside so that's that means your airplane is already dead it's kind of tricky sometimes because your airplanes may look healthy from the outside but inside um, they might be rotting so you have to check them from time to time so there we go little lanchester graphica still thriving thank you for checking in guys guys thank you again for the love i'd be glad to answer more of your questions through my videos just feel free to comment them below. I really hope that my videos are able to help you guys in taking care of your air plants. If you want to share any experience you have with your air plants, please do so, please, please, please. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.